Most clients come in thinking they need a simple will, and it shouldn't cost but just a couple of hundred dollars. They do not think through all possibilities and do not realize how involved a will can actually be. So what are the things that you should consider in your will? First, you should identify your family, such as your spouse and children. If one of your children have predeceased you, it might be beneficial to mention them and any children that they may have left behind. Second, you should consider how you want your property to pass. Maybe you want everything to go to your spouse, and maybe you're not married and want everything to go evenly to your children. It sounds pretty simple. Now let's think about what happens if those individuals die before you. Do you want your remaining children to get everything? What if that child had died leaving children? What if there are adopted children? And what about stepchildren that you may or may not want to include? Now we are getting into some more issues. What if you want your deceased child's share to go to their children, which would be your grandchildren? That's not a problem unless they are minors when they inherit. Now we need to consider a testamentary trust. What is that? Well, it's a trust that's created within your will when you die in the event that any beneficiaries are under a certain age or meet certain conditions. Well, what if your children are minors when they inherit? Well, you also need to think about guardians for your minor children. Along with a testamentary trust, you might also need to consider who's going to be the trustee. And if that person dies, who else is going to be the trustee? What about distributions? When will the children get their share outright? When they reach 18, 21, or maybe even 25? What if you have a special needs child? These are all important factors to consider. Now let's talk about executors. You will probably name your spouse first. Who serves if your spouse cannot? And what if something happens to that person? And let's not forget, do you have specific items that you want to set aside for a specific child or a friend or maybe a grandchild? We need to include those specific gifts as well. Let's throw out even more complications. Is there someone you do not want to ever inherit your property? If so, you might want to consider disinheriting them. Let's add in the no contest clause while we're at it. And finally, what do you want to happen to your property if everybody predeceases you? The state of Texas has a default that says if none of your beneficiaries survive you, then it will go to your heirs at law. Do you want it to go to your siblings or possibly your nieces, nephews, or cousins? Perhaps you want it to go to a charity instead. As you can see, we have taken what you thought was a simple will and added all the necessary items in order for it to meet your needs. Not quite so simple after all. This is why I always suggest people meet with estate planning attorneys rather than trying to do an online will. Online wills are simply fill-in-the-blank templates. They do not consider what happens if you have minor beneficiaries or special circumstances. If you need more information regarding wills, please visit us online at www.rondahaineslaw.com or contact our office to schedule an appointment at the number listed on your screen. Don't forget to friend us on Facebook. We look forward to serving you.